yo 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 what's up guys welcome back to escaping trenches so today we're talking about on dial i'm going to teach you how to register your dial online and i'm going to teach you the yeah, i'm going to show you the step-by-step -step process on how to go through everything and what you need to do and what you need to know before you perform this task and as you can see here if you scroll down to this area you see that they said register your DAO now and receive a million DAO. Registration is one of the criteria for receiving the airdrop as it is a reliable way to filter out bots, farmed accounts and other dishonest players which will include like scripts and players and all that people that write scripts. They said we want the airdrop to go to real active users just like what Paws did. You know Paws, they are they did so many things because they tried to eliminate bots and all that and now we have like less than 14 percent that are eligible for the airdrop so tonda presently has 4.2 million subscribers and i think they have like 2 million players 2 point something million players so if they even try to reduce that a little bit it's still nice for us so let's go straight into it no time for long talk so you just click on register your dial and go into your turn dial app yeah so we're back in the app now back in the app and i would advise that it's the owner of the dial that should create this the owner the person that opened this dial that's the person that should register this dial so what you need to do is click on this but before we go into that guys please take a few seconds to like and subscribe it really helps the channel grow and it shows me that you appreciate the effort I'm putting in to create this video for you guys. So just take a few seconds to do that. I really appreciate it. So let's go. And when you click there, you click on register the DAO. And also make sure that you are in contact with your remaining people. Make sure that you are in contact with them because every single person that is in your DAO has to vote. They all have to vote before you can register. So what you need to do is click on register it down. Click there. Yeah, so they say join legal non-profit structure, enter into contracts, give them legal force. What's happening here is that you are actually turning your group of five players into an official legitimate organization. That's what's going on here. It's not just about airdrop. You guys are going to be together forever. Like this particular group, you guys will be making decisions together, you'll be voting and you'll be getting rewards for that. I mean, you'll be getting rewards for that as the time goes on so that's what's going on here so you click on i agree with the rules yeah so you click there and then that so i'm going to click i'm going to put there okay we're putting your name of dao and then you put your description so i'm going to put skps yeah 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 skps yeah that's the name of our charter and then the DAO description changing the world one DAO at a time simple and sweet no time changing the world one DAO at a time that's it so that's what i'm going to put at my description you can put whatever you want it's not necessarily necessary <laughs> yeah so you click on continue after you've put in your name and description yeah so this is where the major issue is now selecting what kind of DAO you want to sell you want to be functioning as you can select the community DAO if you want to create a space for communication knowledge exchange and information sharing among participants to share to strengthen communities and then you can also select the education DAO which is, which includes organizing and supporting educational initiatives aimed at developing participant skills and knowledge you can also pick that then the fund DAO includes uniting people with shared interests for joint creativity idea exchange and hobby support game DAO that's developing gaming communities coordinating joint actions and creating assets with virtual world charitable DAO consolidating efforts to implement public benefits initiatives and pro provide assistance to those in need and then there is a social DAO and financial DAO honestly because unless everybody in the group is your friend that you know personally I would advise you to just take this 
I advise you to just take this community DAO because that is the most general out of everything. It's the most functional. Everything else here is everything else here is so specific. They are all so specific. They are all so specific. But the community DAO, the community DAO is the most general because this is what interests people the most. Creating a space for communication, knowledge, exchange, and information sharing among participants. You understand? This is the most logical thing for you guys to pick. So I'm going to pick the community DAO. You can see they say you will not be able to change the DAO goal after creating it. Remember, you cannot change it. So if you know you want to do something else different, you can select the others. But me personally, because I don't know everybody else in my DAO, I only know what I only know two. The many two I don't know them. I just they are they just joined. So um, I don't know. I think the community DAO is makes the most sense. So I'm going to click that and OK. Okay, so I am going to select myself as the representative and then you should just select yourself as representative, you, and then click on continue. Yeah, so you just see this, read the presence, this, this, you just need to read through this, read through this, take the time to read through this if you want to, but you don't necessarily have to. And then then once you're done with that, you click on bring to a vote. You see this? Yeah. You click on bring to a vote. I advise you to take some time to read this actually. Take some time to read this. But I already read it before. But I just didn't click this button because I wanted to create this video. So I just saw the whole process and then I came back and didn't click that button. So guys, take some time to read that, click that, read that, read that. Then after you've done that, click this, bring to a vote. So when you do this, click bring to a vote. Then now you can see that there is a voting. There is a voting action now that is needed. Everybody needs to vote. Everybody needs to vote. And then yes, I agree. Then you swipe to vote. Then when you swipe to vote, the next thing you need to do is to click on sign. You need to click on sign. Yeah. You need to sign in because they don't want bots to be voting. They want everybody to be legitimate users. So you click on sign. So you just click on turn connect. Click on that. Then I'll connect my tone keeper. If it's your tele whatever wallet you connected to your tone DAO, that's the wallet you need to connect here. The same wallet, the exact same one. So I connected my tongue keeper. Let me go and connect it now. Okay, so I've put in my password and I've connected. So let's go back to Telegram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so as you can see so as you can see now you can just jump you can see the whole this is the whole charter this is the whole charter so right now you just need to scroll down once you log in with your wallet you just need to scroll down scroll down here and then you can see this is my username so under your username when it when it's your turn to vote you just click on sign here you understand? click on there click sign here Okay, so I'm going to sign my signature. Yeah, so insert, after you do that, just insert your signature and then you can see. You can see that my signature is now showing here. You can see it there. You can see it there. So that's it there. The yeah, next thing you need to do after that is to click on complete contract. And when you click on complete contracts, it will take you back here. You click on connect wallet. Put your thumbprint or your password. And you can see it came back here. And look at what it's showing me. Sign successfully. You saw that, right? 
so it has signed successfully so let's scroll back down and see whether my signature is there now in the charter so as you can see so as you can see here you can see here that my charter look at this everybody hasn't signed yet i'm the only person who has signed look empty 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 i'm the only one who has signed here so you can see that's it guys that's the exact process very very it's not straightforward honestly i can't lie but it's very simple there's not too much stress involved in it so that's all let's take some time after signing to just read read through the charter and just understand what you are getting involved with let's go back into the account and see how it turned out so as you can see when i came back look at what they said they said you sign the charter wait until all participants sign so all your participants need to sign everybody needs to sign so make sure that you get in contact with everybody in your DAO and get them to sign it well that's all for now guys like and subscribe if you found value in the content i'll see you guys again peace